Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Friday. The homophobic wife of the Deputy President of Kenya in East Africa has had a Facebook account suspended. Dorcas Rigarthi was unable to spread any hate for three days, the poor thing, after violating community standards. The pastor's recently said there's no place for queer people in Africa and called for the rejection of immorality. Gay sex can get you years in prison in Kenya, with much tougher laws planned as part of a family protection bill. MP Peter Kaluma's behind the proposals. Let's get a sense of his character. I was a short while back in a foreign country, and you can imagine being approached by a fellow man asking me to go out and, 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 and mess with him, sleep with him. <laughs> and the guy has the audacity to tell me I look nicely round. <laughs> What a level of perversion. Oh, shove off. One of the world's harshest anti-queer laws was passed in Uganda, which is also in East Africa, earlier this year. Punishments include the death penalty and life in prison. A gay man who suffered abuse while serving as a soldier in Moldova has been awarded compensation. Marin Pavlescu will get the equivalent of around 6,700 US dollars because he was denied the right to respect and protection. It's the first time a court there's made a ruling on harassment on the basis of sexual orientation. Moldova's between Ukraine and Romania, and it's becoming more liberal about homosexuality. And you know those celebrity dancing shows on TV? Depending on where you are, they're called Dancing with the Stars, Strictly Come Dancing, etc. They feature men and women competing, don't they? So, that rather undermines the confected outrage of some bigots after a trans girl won the female category of an Irish dancing competition in Dallas. They say she had an unfair advantage, which is ridiculous, it's Irish dancing. A petition launched in support of her now has more than 3,700 signatures. I'm Kev McGraw, see you Monday.